What's up trader homies, Kevin here from Touchdown Trades. If you've been a day trader for any amount of time, you know having a quality charting package is essential to being consistently profitable. And to be honest, there isn't that many options. You have eSignal, which is gonna cost you $150 a month. It's a quality package, but it's crazy expensive. You have TradingView, which is, they're good charts, but it's a web-based software um, HTML platform, which I don't personally, I don't trust um, web-based. You don't know if you have a few second delay. I think the future is headed in the web-based direction, but as of today, I want a desktop platform. And you also have your uh, broker, your broker integrated charting packages, uh, whatever broker you use, they probably offer a charting package, but those traditionally aren't very good. So what options do we have as day traders? We have the option of spending a bunch of money on a charting package. Uh, we have the option of using TradingView, the web-based platform, or you have the best option. And that is to use the Thinkorswim charts for absolutely no cost, zero monthly subscription fees. All you have to do is call them up, say that you're new to trading, whether you are or are not, or um, call them up, say you're new to trading, whether you're not or you are, just call them up, tell them you wanna um, upgrade your account to real-time data and they'll typically do it for you. Or what I do is I just I just leave a couple thousand dollars in, the, in a uh, Thinkorswim account and I just use it for my charts and I do not use it for my executions. So I have my execution, my broker, I have a screen and then I have my charts, which I use for from Think or Swim. So I'll show you guys how I set up my Think or Swim platform for optimal charting for day trading. All right guys, so here I've pulled up a blank paper trading version of Think or Swim, which is what I believe is to be the best charting um, platform that you can get for free. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I set it up for day trading. So we got the paper trading platform set up. I'm gonna go up here to the charts tab. And we got a default chart, uh, one chart layout set up. And so I got two monitors that I have charts on. One of the monitors I'm gonna have um, about eight charts on it. And that is just like my watch list that I'm keeping an eye on those names for the day. And then my second monitor that I watch is um, just one name. It's like my priority at the moment that I'm watching. It has a five minute, one minute daily and a level two on that. And on my laptop screen, I have my brokerage platform open where I execute my orders. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to this box. Actually, you know what? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to this box and we're gonna customize the layout to put as many charts as we want per screen, okay? So we're gonna hit customize grid and then to add more charts, you're gonna go down here and hit this plus button. We want charts to the right and then we want charts beneath, beneath. And we're gonna leave it at four charts per screen and we can toggle back and forth between this flexible grid and this charts grid where we can do the same thing on both, right? And if you didn't want the sidebar, you could hit this and it'll get rid of this sidebar here, but I like to leave it open because if I see a quick sell off or quick pop, I like to hit the news and see if there is a breaking news story coming out. So, after you got your layout set up, you can come back and uncheck the customized grid and it'll get rid of all that nonsense. And then we can go in and uh, customize the studies and indicators as how we see fit. So let's just put a couple random tickers in there just to populate them. Okay, so here we got our intraday chart and I'm not a big ind indicator guy. They're all lagging and the only indicators I wanna add our VWAP, a 9 EMA, and a 
20 EMA. So here we got the VWAP, and as you see, it's got these two kind of Bollinger Band type deals going on, and we want to get rid of those. So we're going to move these to zero. And I don't want to see the title or the bubble. And I'm going to change the color to yellow. Hit apply. And then you got your VWAP without the Bollinger Band type deals. And you're going to go there. So now we're going to go back to Add Studies. And we're going to find the EMA. All right, so now we got the nine and we got the VWAP. And now for the last study, we're going to add a 20 EMA. <laughs> and by default, it's going to come up as the nine EMA again. So you just go back and choose one of them and change it to the one you want. Change the length to 20. And then we're going to change the color to just like a pinkish red. And there we go. So we got the VWAP, 9 EMA, and the 20 EMA. And once you have all the indicators that you want, you can save it as a like a study set. So that way you don't have to go back and add it individually to each chart. You can just save it as a group. So we're going to save this as intraday studies. And then when you want to add it, you can just go back down to studies, load study set, intraday studies, and then it populates. Okay, so once you have that done in all these charts, you can go and do the same here. And that way on one monitor, you can have as many charts as you want and just toggle back and forth. So you have you can have your whole daily watch list pulled up on charts. All right, so now I'll show you how I set up my uh, the main watch that I have on my second monitor. It's just one name, and that is my priority at the moment. So we're going to go to Customize Grid. Actually, we can leave it like this. So what I do is I have a five minute up here, and then I have a one minute. I have a daily, and then I put this as level two and news. Right, so you got your level two, we'll get rid of the chart. You got your level two in your news here. So for the daily, I like to add a, I'm not gonna do it, it's gonna take a minute, but I like to add a 20 EMA, 100 EMA, and 200 EMA. And then I go in and before I take any trade, I analyze the daily chart, always look left, and I plot out the the pivots, the uh, horizontal pivots, and the price act, the price levels, and the trend lines before we're taking a trade. And check the news here. If everything looks good, you got a proper setup, fits your strategy, take the trade. And then you got your you got your chart set up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing here. So that's pretty much do it. That's how I set up my charts. Um, so guys, this Thinkorswim platform is awesome for charting. You could go pay $150 a month for eSignal and you're not going to get anything any better. It is kind of glitchy sometimes, but that's maybe one day a month you'll have issues. But the other 20 trading days a month, it's, it's great. I actually like it better than eSignal. I think it's more intuitive and you're not paying the outrageous subscription costs. Guys, if you got anything out of this video, please help me out by subscribing and hitting that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Catch you in the next one. Peace.